Now I'm going to be tying a Monroe killer. Now a standard Monroe would be a fly just like this one here. Just with a wing, throat, uh, and a colour combination of obviously black, yellow, orange and the blue throat. Uh, what I'm going to be tying is a, basically putting pig bristle uh, as a tail in the fly itself. Now it's, it's still a Monroe killer just with feelers uh, but it's a good pattern, it's a good style and if you're tying a few minnows it's worth putting some pig bristle on it if you would like to try it and I know you're not going to go far wrong with it because it does catch so now this is a full mill hook, it's, it's a gold magni double uh, in a size 10 now the thread I'm going to be using, I'm just going to use the uni thread 8 oil in black just run the wax through it to get it started just start your thread at the eye and work your way down just going to remove the base piece. Now take your thread, do your slightly by the points of the hook, just run it down to about there. And now I'm going to tie in two to three fibres of the pig bristle. Now when I buy, the, I usually buy the bristle on the skin, and uh, I use up normally the bigger ones first. Uh, but I keep a hold of the small, finer bristle, just for flies like this. Now I'm going to put three on. So we've got three fibres there. And I'm just going to run my nail through it just to open up these ends, curl them up. Because the, the pig bristle it vibrates, it's, it moves, it's got a lovely movement in the, the fibre. Uh, it's certainly a trigger point for the salmon. Now I'm just going to check how these are sitting first. Now a couple of turns on, and I just bring the thread underneath. Lock them in. Now, length, just the hook to the side, have a look at it, see the length. You can always move these around, you have to sit the way you want, because uh, they are a stiff fibre and they tend to move, sit where they want. So, at this point, you can move them around just as you would do a dry fly tail in a way, and then once you're happy, you can tighten up. That's fine. The length, really about twice the body length is fine. Just going to pull it in a wee bit further than that. That's fine. Trim that away. For the rib and the tag of the fly, I'm going to use an oval gold tinsel. Uh, oval tinsel. So I'm going to attach it underneath. Full length of the body. And I'm bringing the thread up, say, equivalent to three turns of the tinsel. And then we tie in some black floss. Now just a rayon floss I'm using here, again full length of the body and then nice and tight, work your way up, tying in your materials, keep it as smooth as possible. Now you take it up to about maybe 3 mil from the eye, then take your floss up, just tidying things up. This point here, cross your thread two or three turns, and then remove the the waste. Your oval tinsel, a nice straight turn at the back. Just take your time and get it started right, uh, and then get as I say, around about three turns is plenty. Looks okay, and then continue up ribbing the body four to five times. Catch it in, nice and tight. As I say, you don't need, if you don't like the bristle, just leave it out and then you've just got a mineral killer. The only difference is I would tie the tag in slightly different, but that's just the suit, the, bean, the bristle being there. Throw it, I'm just going to use a dyed hot orange hen feather, I'm just using some of the fibres. So I bring enough out to form the throw it. Just 90 degrees from the stem, and you'll see the tips will line up. Just going to tiny bit more. Just bring it up against the tips like that, and you can pull them out. And then what I like to do is just roll them through my fingers. This will separate the fibres. Now, I usually just pinch a loop underneath, two or three turns. Turn it upside down, you can see how it's sitting. You know, use your nail just to flare the fibre. 
That's fine. And then you can trim away the waste. Looks okay. Now I'm going to get some guinea fill dyed blue. A better feather than this. I need a newer one. I'm looking for a nice, I like a nice sharp fibre, I like a nice clean fibre like this, that's fine. Just remove the fluff. Just bring again the fibres out 90 degrees, you'll see the, the ends lining up. Get enough tear away. And again, just bring them together and roll them within your fingers, which will separate the fibres. Underneath again, pinch and loop up. Spread them out. Just roll your nail on it. Take your time you're doing this, this will obviously your false hackle. It'll swim much better. You're happy with that, you can come in, get a good clean cut if you can. You touch your wax there, just tidy that area up, look at the head length. That's okay. It's fine. Now, here, it's entirely up to see what hair you use. Uh, there's lots of fibres. There's, there's Arctic Runner. There's Squirrel, dyed, bleached and dyed yellow. There's Calf Tail you could use, which is a good wee hair. Nice fibre. Uh, you can go... This is Squirrel, Grey Squirrel dyed black. Again, the Arctic Runner. So, there's a few hairs you could use to to actually tie his fly. Now I'm, I'm just going to use, you can mix them as well, it's entirely up to yourself. Now I'm going to use the bleached and dyed yellow squirrel and some of the grey squirrel dyed black. Now don't need a lot of fibres, just make sure the ends are close, lined up, just bring them in. You don't need a lot of yellow Halfway into the tail or so, on the top, two or three turns, and secure it. Now you could also use the uh, grey squirrel dyed yellow itself for the mineral, which a lot of people like. Uh, I'm just using the mix. You know, it's black. Just check that out, that's fine. A lot more obviously than the, the yellow. Check the length, that's fine. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the hair and then to the right length. A straight cut and then use the thread to cut into these fibres. So if you make sure they're lined up first. You come in and just basically take the thread turns into the cut ends. You need a wax thread to do this. A couple of turns more just to secure it. See where it's sitting. If you feel it's roll or came out, came round the the hook slightly, you can actually use your nail, bring it back up on top, and then we can tighten up. A wee bit, obviously, you need wax your thread. Nice and tight. Make sure it ties in. Check. Everything's okay, and I'm happy with it. So I'm um, straight in a wet finish. Always thinking of the shape of the head as well when you're doing that. Turn that away. Now, quick look, see, that's fine. Now, what I like to do is super glue first. Just touch the head all the way around. If you can rotate the vise, obviously, it helps. Try not to touch the, the wing or the hackle fibres. Now the super glue will set really quick and hard and then a couple of coats of varnish and your fly's finished. Now that's basically the Monroe, if you take that away, that's the Monroe killer. Now with the pig bristle obviously it's got the feelers uh, which adds it a, bit, a wee bit of movement to the back. If you're fishing this, say with a single handed rod, uh, fishing this lightly through the stream, uh, 
and the tail vibrates close to the surface, it just attracts the fish. They love it. It's a trigger point, uh, but as I say, if you don't like it, you can always take it away. Now, allow that to dry. Now, the super glue takes about maybe 5 10 minutes or so to dry, and uh, once you seal it with a coat of varnish or two, you have a lovely head. So, I hope you enjoy that. <laughs>